Hi, I'm Ed Gastel, Product Line Manager for the Network and Enterprise Test Group of JDSU. We are the test and measurement vendor for Interop Net this year in uh, New York City, which is where we are. And for this particular network that's being built out here, what they decided to do was to run 10 gig e-links between the distribution uh, router and the access switches. They decided to do that over copper, so it's 10G base T links. In order for that to run correctly, we need to certify those cables. So what we're going to be using is the JDSU Certifier 40G. We're going to go out onto the network, to the patch panels. We're going to test the permanent links between the racks. We're going to certify to CAT 6A, make sure they pass the certification. That way we can be very confident that the 10G base T is going to run smoothly across those links. So here we are at the local end, and we're going to configure the limit. It is a CAT 6A cable, so we need to change the limit from the CAT 5E channel that's there to be a CAT 6A permanent link, which is the test that we're going to perform. So we've got that already stored, so CAT 6A permanent link. Uh, and everything is all set up, just generic cable. The site is interop. Now we're going to go to the rack and we're going to plug in at the patch panel. So here we are at the patch panel. So we have our tester, we've set up the limit for it. And now we're going to take the permanent link cord, we're going to plug it into the patch panel for the cable that is facing where we want to test it. Now that that's hooked up, we just go to the remote end, we're going to hook up there, press test and certify this cable. So here we are at the remote end. So we're going to take our cable now, we're going to hook it up. When we do that, the unit will beep to indicate that we have uh, connected to the remote end and then we can just simply test, press auto test. Performs a 9 second CAT 6A auto test which is the fastest test time on the market. It goes through all its various tests and then when it's done it will tell us whether this cable passed or failed. It verbally tells us that we passed the auto test. It gives us test results for the wire map and, and the four individual results. If we wanted to, we could look in more detail at uh, all the results for the certification. Then because we do want to keep records, we want to save. We are at the remote end, but we can still press the save button, which allows us to change the label. So we can click, we can clear it, we can give it a specific name of what we want it to be. Press OK, press save, and we've now saved our test results. Okay, so what you just saw is we went out onto the show floor. We used the certifier 40G to test the cables that are going to carry the 10 gig base T traffic between the Cisco core router and the Cisco access switches. We, uh, we performed the test on all the cables that are going to be used for that. All of them passed. We're 100% confident now that our 10 gig traffic is going to be carried without errors from the distribution core switch out to the access.